Yo, what's up, YouTube? Peace, positivity, self-awareness, motivation, man. Um, guys, today, I wanna talk about this new crates challenge that I keep seeing. I don't even know the actual name of the actual challenge, right? But I see it all over social media. I've seen it on my Instagram. We've got all these people jumping off of crates risking themselves, risking their lives, right? And this is this really reminds me of like stuff I've seen in the past. I've seen challenges before in the past, I'm sure you have too, right? I remember in the past they had that like challenge where the kids were like choking each other, right? They would like choke each other and pass out. Then you had challenges where people were like, sniffing paint or sharpies and shit like that. I just remember a lot of that stuff when I was coming up, man. And um, people don't realize how dangerous it is to do that stuff, Sp specifically that. If you're jumping on crates, you are getting up there, People, some people are drunk, they're falling off, risking themselves and their health. You can really, really hurt yourself pretty bad, right? You're risking getting badly hurt and you might die. You might be fully paralyzed, man. There's a story, I remember watching this one movie in the past. It's been a while since I've seen it. It's about a famous painter, right? She would paint with her mouth. I remember her name. I'm sure you guys might've seen it too. If you know, put it down in the comment section below. But she ended up that way by diving into um, the water and landing on her spine, right? So putting yourself in the type of position to me, even if it is a challenge, even if it is a joke, putting yourself in that type of position where you could hurt yourself in that way to me is just plain stupid, right? Don't be an idiot, guys. Don't follow these trends. It's funny right now, right? But somebody's gonna get badly hurt. We haven't heard it yet, but the first person to die from this is gonna be announced pretty soon. Why? Because this is what happens, right? It's so fun in games, but eventually somebody gets hurt. Don't be a sheep. Don't be a sheep. The type of people that jump on trends, the type of people that jump on hype are sheep. They um, lack direction in their lives, right? They have no purpose in their lives. If you have plans for a future, if you have plans to be successful in your life, you don't do a lot of this stupid shit. I barely do shit that seems normal, going skydiving, right? You never catch me jumping out of a plane, dog. You never catch me riding a motorcycle. You know what I mean? Because I look at that stuff, like what are the chances? And you can say what you want, go it's safe, it's nothing. To me, if it looks like I'm gonna die, <laughs> you know what I mean? I chill from that shit, man, just because I have plants, right? So what am I saying? Bit of an extreme example with the motorcycle and they're like jumping off a plane, but pretty much the same thing, man, hopping on crates. You're probably safer jumping off a plane than doing what these dumbass people are doing on social media, but someone's gonna die from this shit, man. And if you're out here doing this stuff, remember, you're risking your life. It's all fun and games until somebody gets hurt. Don't be a sheep, man. Don't be a sheep. People who lack purpose do that stuff and think it's all a joke until somebody gets badly hurt and now it becomes a problem, right? You can relate that to life. There are a lot of people in this life who just move with what's cool. Just because something's popular, everybody wants to get on it. Just because everybody else is talking about it, even in this YouTube space, everyone wants to talk about it, right? You gotta be careful with that. Because a lot of people that lack identity, right? A lot of people that lack direction and purpose in their life, 
they just hop on what's new and what's next. And guys, some people are going to convince some poor guy to jump on that crate and he's going to break his neck and might lose his life. The same way why people go through life just hanging around with the wrong people and you're kicking it with people who are negative. You're kicking it with people who are in bad situations. You don't realize like, why am I always in these bad situations? Look at the people around you. Are you just doing things because, oh, this person's doing it and they think it's cool, right? And you think it's innocent. Oh, it's just a game. But a lot of people live life that way, man. They hang out with people because that person is popular. But there is no true reason, but they have all these problems in their lives. And they never ask themselves, hey, do I have negative people in my life that I'm just with just because? Do I just do shit? Do the people around me actually serve a purpose? People in your life should serve a purpose. So guys, don't be out here jumping off of crates. You know, you might die. Don't think I'm being extreme. You might die, right? Playing hopscotch on crates. That shit is crazy, man. That shit is stupid. I'm not trying to wish any bad on anybody, but if somebody dies from this shit, it's possible, right? People have died from a lot less of these challenges. Oh, I remember there's this one radio radio show, right? There's radio shows they have like these games and they had a competition to see who can drink the most water and hold their pee. So one girl started to drink and she was competing with another dude. And the, the actual, I remember the radio show actually got in trouble for this. She held her pee and died. <laughs> and died. I didn't know you could die from that. But she held her pee so long that she died. All to win a prize. All for the sake of fun. Just trying to say, man. Relating this back to life. If you have plants, if you have a purpose, you don't have time for this type of stuff. It's all fun and games to somebody dies and breaks their neck. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do, man. Leave me a comment. You know I stay in the mix. I respond. Um, peace, positivity, self-awareness, and motivation. Coming back at you, man. More to come in the future. Have a good rest of your night. I'm out. Peace. If you can, please enjoy the show. I'm a walking Liberty Bell. Free to ring through my stride. Freedom to be inside and be a slave to my pride. And right away it is scream. Man, this love's so serene. 